Welcome. Today we're going to look at a concept called collocations, which essentially is that in English, certain words always go together. We're going to look at some examples and this will help you identify these collocations and use them effectively in conversations. But before that, hi, I'm Ajith. I'm from Capshine. Capshine, by the way, is an revolutionary learner together English program. With this, learning English is easy, quick, fun, affordable, and effective. And we promise a whole new you in six months or less. So what are collocations? Well, these essentially are situations where certain words always go together with each other, right? There could be two or more words that fall into this particular rule. For example, words like really hot, quick break, bad news, these are usually words that always go together. That said, there is rules that guide what kind of words can go along with each other. And these are the list of the kind of words that usually go together to create collocations. What we're going to do is we're going to look at each of these and look at examples for each in context. Let's look at the first kind of collocation, which is adverb and adjectives. Adverbs, by the way, are words that either describe uh, an adjective or an action, right? And an adjective is something that describes a noun or a pronoun. So let's look at this in action so that it makes more sense. Look at this sentence. He was seriously hurt by your actions. Which pair of words do you notice that often come together in different contexts? Well, if you guessed seriously hurt, you're absolutely right. Seriously is an adverb and hurt is an adjective. It describes a noun and seriously talks about how uh, that adjective is. This collocation is quite often found. Let's look at another one. The way you behaved with him was totally wrong. Again, totally wrong, totally being an adverb and wrong being an adjective. And both of these together are used quite often together. Totally wrong. You're totally wrong. He's totally wrong. There's a very common collocation used together. The dance performance was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible again is a very common collocation as well. Great. Let's move on to the next type, which is adjective and noun. Remember, an adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun. And a noun is usually a thing, a place, or someone or something, right? All these are nouns. Let's look at an example. The doctor advised him regular exercise. Can you spot the phrasing or the pair of words that are often, that often come together? Well, if your answer is that, you're absolutely right. Regular exercise is a phrasing that is very common. This is a collocation that you often see in English language. The next one, they were late because of heavy traffic. We usually describe traffic as heavy traffic when there's a lot of traffic. Heavy traffic is a very common collocation. And finally, you should not go out on an empty stomach. Again, to suggest that you're hungry or you've not eaten, you would use the collocation empty stomach quite often. This is another example of an adjective and a noun coming together to create that combination called collocations. And here's another one. Certain nouns go along with certain nouns all the time. For instance, he received a round of applause for his inspiring speech. What do you think is the collocation here? Which is the pair that goes together? The answer is a round of applause. Both are nouns and usually when you talk about people cheering other people or applauding, it's called or the usage is a round of applause and there's an often used collocation. The next one, I found bars of soap made of rose petals. Can you spot the combination that happens over and over again? Well, it is bars of soap or a bar of soap. This is a very commonly used collocation when talking about soaps. And of course, road safety should be taught at a young age. Road safety is a usage that's very commonly used and it's a very commonly used collocation as well.
Before we go to the next few concepts, I want to talk to you a little bit about CapShine's learning model. With CapShine, you get access to speaking opportunities, you get to learn and practice as a group, you get a personal coach who gives you recommendations, live classes, and daily micro lessons and challenges to help you build your confidence, your core, and become a more powerful user of the language. Do check that out. Let's get back to collocations. Nouns and verbs can come together many times and there are combinations that keep repeating over and over again. Let's look at a few examples. This plane took off at the right time. Can you spot the collocation here? Well, if you spotted the train or the, the, the plane taking off, then you're absolutely right. Planes take off or the plane took off. This is a very often used collocation. You do not say the plane you know, went into the air or anything else. The plane took off. This is commonly used to speak about the plane ascending. The bomb went off, destroying the nearby vehicle. You've probably caught on. Bomb went off. So the bomb goes off or bomb went off is a very commonly used collocation. Similarly, the lights went out is a very commonly used collocation and this is used to mean that the power was lost, right? Lights went out. Let's look at another one. Verbs can collocate with nouns as well, actions and things. He was imprisoned for committing murder. So what do you, what do you do? How do you, you know, what is the verb for murder? Well, you commit a murder, right? Or commit a crime. Very often used collocation, very often used combination of words. One should make their bed daily. What do you do to your bed? You make it. Make your bed is a very commonly used collocation as well. And of course, it's your turn to do the dishes. Doing the dishes is a very commonly used collocation, which means to clean vessels, do the dishes. Commit murder, make your bed, and of course, do your dishes. And of course, verbs can go along with prepositions as well. And this is again, a very, very common collocation type. Let's look at some examples. He ran out of money before the month ended. The collocation here, of course, if you are sharply observing, is ran out. You run out of things, meaning you've exhausted your supply of something. We've run out of sugar at home, right? Or he ran out of money. Similarly, she burst into tears at the sight of her lost dog. Burst into something. So when you have an emotional outburst, you burst into something. Tears or burst into laughter, showing that you have an excess of a particular emotion or reaction. The family planned on spending Christmas at home. Planned on doing something. And this is a very common collocation as well. We plan on spending the night watching Netflix. Same idea collocation works that as well. Of course, verbs can also go with adverbs. We saw adverbs and adjectives going together, but verbs can go along with adjectives as well, and or rather adverbs as well. For this, in this case, the boy whispered softly in the class. Can you spot the collocation? The pair of words that go together often? Well, whisper softly. And this is a very commonly used combination. Similarly, the crystal bowl was placed gently upon the table. Another common combination of words, placed gently. The dog ran swiftly to their owner. Again, run swiftly is a very commonly used collocation type. Great, I hope you found this video useful and you're able to spot collocations in use in different contexts in English. This can really help accelerate your use of fluent English as you go forward. If you like the video, like and subscribe, hit the bell notification. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our 30-day free trial by going to caption.com or downloading the app from the Play Store. Thanks for watching.